What's going on guys, MG here. And I got a quick one for you. So happy Thursday. I thought I'd hit you guys with a quick Lux video as we enter the weekend, especially with all the debt ceiling drama that's happening over in the uh, US Gov. So I do apologize if things seem a little weird. I'm actually, this is actually the first video I'm delivering to you guys on the Macintosh. You can see that I got all the, you know, stuff like that, right? So, okay. All right, uh, so let's take a look at money flow here. We're, of course, we're on the one hour. And you guys know uh, this is a great way to see what's going on in terms of controlling of the market between the bears and the bulls. So it's definitely looking like the bears have taken control over the market. So let's see, let, let's take a look at why. So first of all, we got money flow. It is moving into the red. It was in the green a little bit uh, yesterday at around like 10 o'clock, 2300 hours around there. But when the new day started, that's when we got the sell confirmation, the red dot confirmation at 1 a.m. And that's when we've been starting going down. Stochastics moving down, VWAP under the zero line, and we have bloody, bloody money flow. And it's looking like we're getting close to a bottom here. I'm going to assume we'll probably find it in the next two to three hours. We will see, but, but we got a momentum wave moving on down. So when we look into the chart here, choppiness, choppiness, like a motherfucker. And we are just literally just cruising underneath the next golden pocket area that we need to, you know, claim, do the old in out, in out. I thought that we would maintain the trading range that we identified earlier this week. It's looking like we've just hit a trend reversal to the downside. So let's see, EMA ribbons are fanned out. They are bearish. We did have some good bullish continuation here as well as a trend reversal signal identified yesterday at 4 p.m. And we did have some bullish continuation and some signals, but then it just flatlined. It just went went down. Right now, the 50-day and the 200-day are acting as resistance. The 50-day crossed under the 200-day. Uh, that's bearish, technically. And it is now acting as resistance at 1333. The big thing is VWAP resistance as well. 1326. Definitely expect some rejection there. I mean, we may find a bottom here on this momentum wave in the next, when is this going to close? 23 minutes. So I'd probably say maybe three hours, two to three hours from now, we might see a local bottom and then we might start making our way on up. But temporarily for the next, I guess, day, eight hours, uh, I am short. So I'm definitely expecting some resistance here at 1326. There may be a rejection. And it may take us all the way back down to our pivot low here at 1302, which we will most likely bounce off of just like what we did here at 8 a.m. this morning. Should we flip VWAP resistance into support, we have to contend against the 50-day at 1333 and the pivot high of 1354. So... I would much rather us hit the golden pocket area up here. If Let's just take a quick peek how much percentage we got to go. 13, 12.6%. Not too bad. I think the bulls can do it, but, you know, there's a lot of drama happening right now in the, U, in the us gov, especially with debt ceiling related things. So right now we're just kind of just chopping which is fine, more opportunities, especially with with the main net, main net going to be deploying here on the, I believe the 23rd, I'll have to double check that. And uh, shout out to my community for putting me on the uh, look so punks. Definitely gonna be in on that, not financial advice. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I mean, punks is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? However, it's not like Lux is a fucking great value blockchain. Anyone who's 
in this space knows who Fabian is. So it's not like it's going to be, hey, we're just gonna put we're just gonna we're just gonna put punks on our chain just because, you know? So yeah. It's not financial advice. I think it'll be good to have at least a couple of these motherfuckers just in case. You never know. So um, shout out to my community for putting me on that. I'm definitely going to be minting a lot of those. I mean, I'm not going to be one of those guys that has like, fuck, what is it? What Fucking Gary V. That motherfucker has like 50 punks, which he got in 2018, whatever. But I mean, me, okay, maybe like five. I'll do five. I'll do that. But, you know, we'll see. Anyways, guys, uh, just this is just opportunities to scoop up more. And then let's just take a look at our spread real quick before I let you guys go. 4.02% spread, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to be chopping in this range. Once we get more clarity in what's going on with uh, Uncle Jerome and and this debt ceiling and all this other shit, you know, because the United States cannot default on their debt. Like, that, that's just out of the question. So once we get more news about that and see what's going on, we might get a little bit more action to the upside but again guys it's just opportunities here all right all right guys hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one later